Today, I'm replacing those chrome emblems with black emblems. I've got a set for both doors, a set of customs, a set of Silverado. And while we're at it, I'll probably get rid of this dealership sticker and that gaudy license plate as well. We're going to need a couple things. First of all, we need the emblems. Uh, these are the 2500HD emblems, and then here are our custom and Silverado emblems. Additionally, we need some tools and some chemicals. This is our main tool right here, and uh, you'll, you'll find a link to this in the description. Uh, basically, it's a piece of thread. I promise I'll show you how to use it. Uh, we're going to need some painter's tape. We might need this plastic wedge. Um, maybe. We'll see. Razor blade, hopefully we won't need that. Now, if you already started working on this and, and took that off without getting any measurements, and you don't really need to get measurements, I'll, I'll show you how that's done. But if you did it and, and didn't take measurements, then I'll, I'll show you the measurements as well so you can get back on track. Some sort of cleaner decreaser, some isopropyl alcohol, and I'll be using this 3M specialty adhesive remover. You could also use like Goof Off, Goo Gone, uh, any of those products, but I, I really like the 3M specialty adhesive remover. And of course, some rags. First thing you want to do is clean this off a little bit. Now, it doesn't have to be spotless at this point. Just clean. For some reason, you need the measurements for this. We are about three and a quarter from the door. And we're up about seven inches from the body line. Yep. Now here are our new emblems, and these are linked in the description. Now this comes in a little styrofoam tray that allows you to put this on and keep the original spacing from the original emblem. So once these are removed, this is basically going to go up here like this. I'm going to take our painter's tape and just... Run a strip of tape below our emblems and then also on the side. This is so we don't need to take any measurements when we bring our emblem tray in here. We'll just be setting it right in the gap left by the tape. Now for our crazy thread tool. You're just going to get this on the back side of the emblem. Go back and forth in a sawing motion. And we're off. And then just repeat this. All the way down the line. You probably have a bunch of tape left over, and the easiest way to get that off, quite frankly, is using your fingernails, and I'm just using my thumb to roll it back. Like that. I know you might think that using some goof off or goo gone or even the 3M adhesive remover would be a good idea right now. It's not. It'll turn this into a big gooey mess. This is way too thick. We want to get the bulk of this tape off without using any chemicals. And then just get the residue off with the chemicals. See, that really didn't take long. It's not that hard. Also, resist using a razor blade. Don't do it. It'll scratch your paint. You could try and use something like a plastic razor blade if you don't want to use your uh, fingers but it doesn't work as well as your fingers do. But, it's an option. You didn't think I'd make you watch me take all that tape off, did you? Nah, come on. All right, using our degreaser cleaner, we're gonna clean this up some more. We're not really trying to get the residue off. We're gonna get the residue off with some 3M adhesive remover. We're just getting the dirt off. Now don't judge me, I live on a dirt road, okay? So my truck's always dirty. Pretty much all we've got now is some adhesive. So we're gonna put a little bit of this on here. Try not to hit the green tape. I don't really wanna mess up that adhesive. 
And you see it just comes right off. So all the adhesive is gone. Now I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol to make sure all of the 3M adhesive remover is gone. That's probably pretty obvious, huh? All right. Well, here's our tray. Now, the interesting thing about this is this right here comes off real easy. Which means these can slip out of the tray real easy, which is definitely a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape, run it across here, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. Now with our tape on here, these emblems are locked in place. We're going to be taking this strip off on the back. And once we do, this stuff is super sticky. Do this, it's gonna stick to your car real quick, just like that. With this, I can hold it. I can get it right in place and then go up to it like that. Now without this piece of tape here with what comes on it, that'll just come right off and, and all of your uh, emblems will just come out of this tray. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this off and then we're just going to align this edge right here. We're just going to align that along our tape line and in between this tape and this tape. And trust me, it's going to stick. It's going to stick like crazy. And what you're doing, this corner right here and this corner right here, you're right here. So and there's really no room for adjustment. You're off. It's going to stick and you're going to have a hard time getting it off. You're really going to have a hard time getting it off. So so basically don't don't mess this up the first time around. All right. I'm peeling this off and I'm peeling it back this way. Make sure none of them have come out of the tray. And I don't know if you can tell, it sticks out of the back of the tray. So it's, uh, it's a little sketchy. All right. Lined up there. Bringing that in a little bit. And look, if you're off a little tiny bit, it's okay. No one's really going to notice. But this will give you your best chance of success. All right. Here goes nothing. Take that off. And that is just gonna peel right off. And all right. I was not exact. I don't care. It doesn't matter that much to me. But uh, here, I'll show you. See the slight gap here? I was off by, I, I don't even know, um, what is that, 16th of an inch or something? Uh, but the good news is it's a 16th of an inch all the way down, so this is still straight. I'm going to go over each one of these really well, pressing it down. Last thing you want is for one of these to fall off. After all that, to get it on there. Take our tape off. What do y'all think about the 4x4 sticker? I was thinking about either getting rid of it completely or seeing if they make one that's just black and white uh, and replacing that. Leave a comment. Let me know. Going to check and make sure this lines up. Yes, it does. And just in case you messed yours up looking for a measurement, we are inch and a half from the side and about an inch from this line right here. That goes over a total of 
10 and three quarters of an inch. Same deal. Let's clean it. Get as much dirt off as we can. Tape it. And same deal. These come off a lot easier because they're smaller. Still got to get all this tape off though. There you get the picture. Let's clean it. Now we'll get the rest of the residue with our 3M adhesive remover. Doesn't take much. Put a bit of isopropyl. This has a much bigger tray. The film on this kit is actually a lot stronger than the one on the 2500HD. So I probably don't need to use the tape. I'm going to anyways. Uh, some people do a thing where they put water on, soapy water, and then they can adjust it. I didn't see anywhere in the directions that you can do that with this. In fact, there were no directions. So that's why I'm putting it on the way I'm, I'm doing it. Well, here is the difference. There is the custom in black, and the Silverado still in silver. Gonna clean it. We'll get those measurements real quick. About an inch and a quarter from the edge. Only about three quarters of an inch from the uh, from this line, which is interesting because that one was higher. So even in Chevrolet, they're not very exact. We're gonna tape it. When I put the Silverado on here, I'm gonna go up just a little bit. I know this sits lower than the custom. I'm gonna raise it up to match. Let's get these off of here. Can't believe I didn't break the thread at all. This priority sticker can go away as well. We're right, gonna clean it with some degreaser. Piece of remover. This comes in two piece section. Let's see how well it lines up. I probably should have done this first, huh? Yep, it lines up. All right, now the one I got, I'm actually looking at this and I can see that this was a single piece at one time, and I guess for shipping reasons, they cut it. But this kind of fits together like a jigsaw puzzle. So that's how we'll put this on. We'll put this one on first, leave our foam on it, and then put this one up right up against it. I'm going to peel our tape back. Be careful when you're peeling this back that you don't pull the emblems out of the tray. Now I'm going to take this off as well. That last letter always wants to come out. Now I'm going to very carefully line up our foam tray. Make sure we're lined up everywhere else. All right, we're locked in, like it or not. Excellent. Remember I said I wanted it up about a quarter of an inch so it matches the custom? Well, mission accomplished. Okay, well, here's our new look. What do you think? Uh, 
I like it a lot. Well, it really wasn't that hard. And if I can do it, you can do it. Like, subscribe, comment. See y'all down the road. Mm -hmm.